Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's the Green Onion, and we're here with another video. This time, I guess I'm just gonna go over some random stuff, like some random diecast finds. Uh, I just went to Toys R Us in their final days. Ripperoni and Pepperoni, my jabroni, Toys R Us, because they're dead. <clears throat> and they're trying to clear out and liquidate their store. So I went in there looking for some good deals. First of which I found was this Gulf uh, gas station by Greenlight. It's like a little diorama. I've always kind of wanted this thing. It looks pretty cool. It's a nice little display for like your Gulf uh, themed cars here. Like I got this GT40 Globetrotters and I got my Supercharger and IndyCar. Also just found this. I don't know if I put this in a video, but cargo carriers hitting stores now. I didn't find them all because some guy got to them before me, but I managed to find this Golf um, Ford Transit Supervan and the Honda Odyssey, the peg warmer. I'm still on the hunt for the other ones, but yeah, they're hitting the stores now. Put my Porsche 917 LH in there. And they were all, they were just like slashing prices over in my Toys R Us. They were just trying to get rid of the stuff because the store was, you know, closing down. They were done. I got this thing for, I think, 10 or $15. I think it was $10 this whole thing it's normally 20 but they put it half off and they're just trying to get rid of their green lights johnny lightning stuff like that here's one of the cars i bought this is a green light this is awesome this is a pretty cool car i might review this later it's a nissan gtr r34 pretty cool in blue it's got an opening hood black wheels from the tokyo torque set by green light i usually don't buy the green lights if they're you know not green machine i only have one green machine but still they're clearing them out. I got this for like two fifty or three bucks when it's normally six. So yeah, they're just trying to get rid of stuff. Also bought a couple of Johnny Lightnings that I didn't really, I didn't bring down here. One of them was a uh, red Corvette Stingray from the nineteen sixties, I think, and then the other one being a red, white, and blue America themed Pontiac Belvedere. So I got a couple of Johnny Lightnings. Those are pretty cool. And this gas station is just really awesome. I like it so much. It's a nice little display. It looks so great with the golf cars in here. It's got metal diecast pumps here. Golf. There's the roof. The roof is removable. It's a metal piece too. And you can see inside here what's going on in this little uh, gas station store. Got a little counter. Golf authorized dealer. This little window. And then on this side, it says golf on this side. You can see your cars. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a nice little display. There you go. You can put that there. And then it's got a little thing in there. It says golf. I put some wheels in there just to make it, you know, look like somebody's been working on the shop. And then I put the skyline in there with the hood up. Over here on this side, it's got golf and then my old rusty Nissan Skyline, I guess. You look kind of cool there. And I put some tire stacks to make it look like they were just throwing them out. They just left them there. But yeah, this Gulf gas station. If you want to pick them up, just head over to Toys R Us because you better get one before they're gone because Greenlight is... <clears throat> I think the only way you're going to get Greenlight is from Hobby Lobby now. So, pretty much. Rip to Toys R Us. You will forever be remembered in our hearts. Um, Yeah, but I think Majorette is going to be gone then. I don't know what's going to happen to them. Not that I particularly care because Majorette hasn't exactly impressed me so far. I have yet to buy one of the cars. Every time I look at them, I just, like, <sighs> compare them to, like, Hot Wheels or basic Matchbox, even just basic Hot Wheels, and they just look, <sighs> even though they have opening features, they just, they're, they're just not, they don't really scream quality to me. Their wheels are, like, they always use the same type of wheel over and over and over again, like the Tomica Basics, but... Yeah, it just it just hadn't really impressed me. Maybe if they come out like a premium line, like the Tomica Limited Vintage, which was, dang, they really did a good job on that. But yeah, but for now, I'm not buying any of those Majorettes. No thanks, and they cost like four times the price of a normal Hot Wheels too. So, pass on that. In other news in my channel, couple of my customs, I did a couple wheel swaps and a um, update on my little Fortnite Battle Bus. So first wheel swap is this Mercedes AMG GT. Shoot, geez, I wanna wreck him. But yeah, the nice black. I always like this car, and I gave it these wheels, real riders, rubber real riders. There's the back. 
I think the wheels look good on this one. With the chrome outline there. Once again, a Toys R Us are just trying to liquidate all their stuff, so I bought a couple of these Forza cars just to take the wheels from. Just to use as wheel donors. The wheels for the Mercedes were off of this Pagani Huayra, which ah, I already have this car, and I don't know what I'll do with this example. You can just be a body for now. <clears throat> but yeah, I took the wheels off of that one. I think that looks really nice for a wheel swap. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. And then the second wheel swap over here. Now looking over there is this BMW 2016 BMW M2. This is from the brand new G case. This car is an awesome new casting. Figured out, figured what better way to do this than to give it, give one example some rear riders, and do a wheel swap. Here we go. Once again, these wheels are from a Porsche 911 from the Forza set, but I think they look really nice on this car, to be honest. This is really, I like these wheels on this car. It looks great. Yeah, here's the car, here's the car that they came with. Came on this Porsche here. But, rest in peace. They're, they're toast. They've been scrapped for their wheels, but yeah, look at this BMW. I like this casting. It's really cool. And yeah, I like the real riders in this one. Give the black, uh, black, whatever these are. I don't know what kind of spokes, but yeah, they look really nice on this car from far away. Really cool. They fit the car well. That's why I like about Hot Wheels. You can like swap the wheels whenever you want. There's no problems really. But here's the car from the side. Here's the front. I don't have a turn table, so bear with me. Down the side. There's the rear. Rear light tampos in this car. It's awesome. Yeah, this is a one of my favorite new castings so far. I don't know if it beats out Mr. Porsche uh, 917 LH over here, but. Definitely on my top five right now, this BMW M2. Awesome. And then the last thing I'm just going to update here is part one, I did a really sh video about the Battle Bus. It was a really crappy camera, but now I got the better camera out again, and I'm just going to update what I've been doing on this. If you know what the Battle Bus is, I'm beginning to make the little car pace that goes around it, all that random stuff. So this little depositor goes in the front. It's like a little. In the main game, they call it like the blue glow depositor or something like that. But I don't play the main game really. The main game sucks. But we got the little depositor thing attached to this block that's on the front of the, the bus. And then that's about all as far as I got. I just finished up on the rust details and stuff like that. All the words in the back. I gave it dualies, so this is not going to roll. Yeah, it's not rolling. But I'm, I'm, I didn't mean for it to roll because there's... Uh, boots that go over the wheels anyway because this is actually a flying bus in the game so yeah, so I do these in the back there's the rear of it what happened to this light? Uh, the light got all messed up but there's the top there you go and then this is the little hose that goes in the front I'm going to put this on pretty soon but yeah it's basically how it looks like now. It's not going to look like that with the curled all up. This is from like an old Lego set or something. It's like a little tube. I just painted it yellow. And it's going to go on my bus. So yeah, for now, that's just random stuff I guess I had laying around that I just had to make a video of. Yeah, a couple wheel swaps in this golf station. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.